Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And sometimes dead is better. We're going to talk about X-Men coming back, the 90s X-Men coming back to Disney+. Plus. Uh, I do not believe it's going to be the same show. Hell no. Uh, we're, you know, knowing what we know now about Disney and knowing who Disney is putting in charge of things, and especially Disney Plus. What was said on that that when 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 Chapik got on there and said about apologize for the, the whole Florida thing, and then handed the microphone over to the Reimagined Tomorrow people, they told you exactly what their goals are for a lot of their shows. And they're saying now that they think this is going to be a modern interpretation of X-Men. So you all know what that means. So we're going to talk about the direction of the company and how, you know, sometimes dead is better. People get excited for reboots and sequels uh, coming out of Hollywood sometimes. But we should know better. We should know that there are going to be reanimated corpses of things that we loved. It doesn't matter if they get the original people back or not. I was actually somewhat optimistic about X-Men because they had some of the original people coming back. They've got a lot of the voice actors coming back, the writers. Well, you kept saying for a long time that you would like to see them bring back that. And then there was like, oh, they're bringing back that. Yeah. I but. But. But they're going to they're gonna filter it through uh, current day politics, which makes so much sense considering this version of X-Men takes place in the 1990s to, mm -hmm. to run it through current day day uh, uh, politics. But of course, you know, Disney's doubling, tripling down on politics. You know, I did a video yesterday talking about how they got rid of uh, Jeff Morrell, who was their communications guy, and they promoted uh, Christina Shake or Shock uh, from the Biden administration. That's so, one of them. There's like three of them there's like three replacing. Of them. Yeah, but I mean, look, if you ever had any doubt that Disney was going to get more political, putting in somebody from the White House, <laughs> you know, is definitely going all in. But we'll, we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 266,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about pop culture. We talk about animation. We talk about comics. We have talked about uh, X-Men before. I was a huge fan of the original... 1990s X-Men cartoon. Um, you know, for me, that was the definitive version of X-Men. Most people, when they think of X-Men, think of that cartoon. Mm -hmm. And if Disney were smart, if Disney were smart, when they bring the X-Men to the MCU, they would bring these versions of the characters to the MCU. And I think a lot of people would, would like that. But uh, Oh, they're going to, but they want to do it with the caveat of modern day. Yes, Wolverine will now be a black lesbian. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's exactly what it means. When they yeah. hear modern day, these are the same people that they had on the rematch of tomorrow talking about how they're making changes to shows. Yeah. So you better damn believe it's going to be about politics and agenda. Absolutely. So, you know, the comments made by the people working on the show aren't, you know, they're not like in your face with like, yes, this is going to be a crazy political show. And a lot of people say X-Men was started because of the civil rights movement and all that. No, actually it wasn't. Um, they went on to talk about... Wait, wait, wait. So they're saying it started because of the civil rights movement, meaning they were outcasts, like that kind yes. of thing? So they're saying that basically if you're a minority, it's because you're a mutant? <laughs> hey, hey, Their orcs, argument is... Orcs are minorities too, right? Their argument is that, if, that the mutants are stand-ins for minorities. That's their argument. <laughs> yep. And they think that that they think that's a valid, fair. That, that's yeah. But they're the ones who are labeling minorities as mutants. Yeah, um, that is a a more modern interpretation. And there have been allegories between the X Men and uh, minorities, including you know Magneto, especially and especially in the movies where you know mm -hmm. you know. I'm just like wrap my head around that. Yes, it's like the orc thing. Right, it's like the orc okay. thing. Okay. Right. Um, Stan Lee, though, again, this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. He had an interview where he was talking about how he came up with the X Men, and he did not have a political bent uh, to the X Men. He basically said he was getting tired of, um, you know, having all these powers have all these origins, and he would have to come up with these ridiculous origins for superpowers. So he's like. Why don't I just say they're mutants? They were born that way. We all know there are mutants in real life. There's a frog with five legs and things like that. So I won't have to think of new excuses. So it's uh, laziness. Yeah, he said it was lazy. Um, I'll get as many as I want. And yeah, he's a mutant, that's all. And that kind of worked with the X-Men. It was like, oh, this person's got this ridiculous power. They're a mutant, you know? Yeah, because. Just because they were born with it. They're born with wings. They're born with the ability to shoot lasers out of their eyes. That's that's honest, honest. They can make snowballs out of their 
their uh, hands. Uh, that's that's what's going on here. But they're really start. Now he just gives blue balls. Oh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Iceman has had blue balls for years. Yeah, now he can finally. Well, now that he can finally be himself, he's he can, relieving those blue balls. He can let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was just holding it all in all those years where he liked women. Um. So anyway, uh, you know, they're definitely dancing around uh, the idea of, of bringing the the '90s X Men back. Spoiler, spoiler for uh, the Doctor Strange movie. You've been warned. Spoiler. Uh, the version of Professor X that we see in this movie, I believe, is in his iconic uh, super jazzy. Yeah. Super jazzy. That's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. The yellow, the yellow wheelchair, which he did not have in the movies. He had it in the comics and the cartoon. So they might be trying to, you know, get in there, or it could just be nostalgia bait. Um, but they're bringing the X Men back, the '90s X Men back in the comics, but they're they're doing them with the new Krakoa storyline, which hasn't been very well received. Mm -mm. So they're taking the 90s X-Men. Like, how would the 90s X-Men react to all of today's problems? Well, you kept saying about, like, because you want the costumes, the iconic costumes, and the look back and everything yeah. else. And you were saying it way before Disney announced Three it. Three or four years ago. And then like, they announced it. They're like, they're going to give us the same style, but they're going to make it with a more modern sensibility. Yeah. So they're, and, you know, they had a Transformer come out. They had a uh, an X-Men Transformer. It was the Lockheed Jet, and it came with, you know, a 90s-style Wolverine and Cyclops. Basically. I thought when you said when they had the Transformers Jet come out, I thought you were going to go someplace completely different with that. Oh, no, that's the IDW run. Yeah. I no, was like, because are... I was like, I would not be surprised. No, they are. And Transformers, the, like... the IDW Transformers, yes, the Transformers are fucking and they're they're they show that? I don't think they sh no they don't show it it gives new meaning to the word headmaster uh, <laughs> no but but they're they're they've got like their gender identities and stuff I'm like these are robots that turn <laughs> license plates have pronouns on them <laughs> <laughs> these are robots that turn into cars okay that's um, god anyway uh anyway uh yeah so this is the head writer this again coming from bounding in the comics um, they're talking about how the world is a very different place than when we originally made the cartoon. And yeah, you no know. No shit. No shit. People weren't actually effing insane. We we learned nothing from these shows. Oh, wait. Were these are cartoons of like the comics and stuff that had diverse characters that were organically placed in the show and no one thought anything of it. Yeah, right. Like Storm was actually the leader of the X-Men right. in the 80s. and But that's problematic now. That's now problematic. we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to play up the agenda and say that they invented it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they're talking about, um, who are they talking to? This is, uh, DeMeo. I think the show is amazing in so many different ways. Yeah, no shit. It's still popular. I think what I would say is that the generation who grew up watching the show, we have grown up and the world is a very different place than when that show was first made. It's not only in the last five or six years. <laughs> I mean, it, the world's a different place because you guys made it that way. And now you're going to go back and be like, we're going to make it worse. And so it's more a question of what does that show look like knowing what we know now? It shouldn't look like any different. It should still go back to being cool. And how it looks like in today's world with everything that has changed and everything that hasn't changed, sadly, in our world. That's where I believe my focus has been as a storyteller. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Until five or six years ago, everything was like, the, it, was, it, was, it was acceptable and it was accepting and everybody was, there was already diversity, already inclusion. It was organically done. It was done okay. You guys have just agendified the hell out of it and made it a bigger issue than it ever has been. Um, at least not in, the, in my lifetime. And then you're going to say that because of today is the way it is, we have to, we have to, nothing's changed. Because you guys keep saying that. That doesn't make it true. Rolling it back. We're, we're making, we're making... We, problems again so we can like, be the ones to solve the problems. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's like what Squid King said. He's like joking. It's like somebody goes to their kitchen, sets fire to their kitchen so they can put it out and be held a hero when they set their own damn fire in the first place. That's what this is. Yeah, let's 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 uh, bring racism back so we can be the ones to fix it. Right. You know, uh, like yeah. Storm, you know, was the leader. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that gonna be the big reveal? Storm's the leader? Well, yeah, because she was a leader when uh, Cyclops was, he was with uh, X Factor. And, um, you know, but she became a leader of the X-Men for a while and whole This has literally been... makes my head hurt. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not kidding. Like, literally makes my head hurt. So, here's the thing. This is X-Men 97. It's supposed to take place after the, the 1992 series that ran for four or five years. Um, was this person around in 97? That, uh, yeah, good question. So, here's the thing. 
So are we going to look at this like it's actually 1997 or are we going to get a bunch of, oh my God, oh my God, they're going to do Days of Future Past and they're going to go back in time and shoot Trump. Instead, you know what I'm saying? I like, don't think they can get away with that. Or not a Disney a, Plus show. Oh, you'd be surprised. They'll, they'll, they'll just, they'll just um, knock him out. He's unconscious. He's oh, just, this, is, this, is, this is one of the people's <laughs> directors? Yes. Supervising director. Yes. Yeah, there's going to be no agenda here. We got we to gotta modernize it, guys, because, yo, nothing's changed in all these years. And, and you know, because everybody was rational until five or six years ago. God, these people need to foot up their ass. Um, so the lead showrunner, Eric Leewald, who I, I think was involved in the original. So the lead showrunner... Eric Leewald has promised that the revival would not only be developed for the core audience of maybe teens on Disney Plus and adults, but also explore adult themes. Right, because that's, that's what everybody wants. Uh, I know that the actor of Jubilee, I mean... Th oh, this, have, wait, so we have to know who, who's sleeping with who. Is yeah. that what this is about? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are they going to go there with, with the Wolverine, Jean Grey, Cyclops yeah. three-way that oh, they head. implied? So I know that the, uh, the actress behind Jubilee quit. And people were not happy, but she quit because she's not Asian and Jubilee is Asian. So that was when the whole that the whole thing was going down a couple of years ago where all these voice actors that were not their races were quitting their parts. Uh, and it started with a couple people leaving voluntarily. And if, if that's their conviction and they want to do that, that's their choice, that's their choice. But then it became an expectation and people were literally getting fired from roles they had for decades you know, and she was not going to be back as Jubilee, even though she was fantastic as Jubilee because she's not the right race. We can't we can't play roles outside of our right. You can't you can't actually act. You can't actually act. You can't uh, act. Unless you're, you're act. unless you're Elliot Page, and you know, but then they changed the entire show to, well, yeah, to accommodate it's not, that. Yeah. It's not acting at mm -hmm. that point. You know, again, you can't act. Well, Elliot Page never could act. So, you know. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, it kind of tied to X Men, right? So if they do another X Men movie, I guess we're not going to have uh, Kitty Pride. We're going to have I, just, I can't Carl Pride. I can't. Or <laughs> I can't wait until until he plays Carl Pride. I can't and, wait until they just stop the stupidity. Stop. It's like really pissing me off. Uh, yeah. So look, guys, I'm I'm just the long and short of it is. I was initially excited for about five minutes, and I'm like, the more I hear about this, the more I'm like. Just freaking leave it, leave it die. Let I just, it go. I just love how they keep acting like well, we got to put it in a modern they think because nothing's changed in all these years. Things, you know, no, it, it was good. You guys were the ones that changed it in the last few years and you've actually made it, you've taken it and, and, and actually devalued it. You've lowered it. Like it was up here and everybody was getting along and you actually found a way to somehow, you know, bring it back to the 50s. Right. That you guys doing willingly, just so you can say, well, we're here, we're because of our stunning and brave behavior, we're fixing this problem that didn't exist like several years ago until you created it again. I'm so fucking tired of this. Sorry, mom. I'm just mad. I have no, I don't even give a shit about X-Men, truth be told. I'm just tired of these idiots coming in here, setting fire to their own fucking kitchens, pissing on it, putting it out, and then saying, look, I'm a hero. Kiss my ass and, and you know, make sure you get my pronouns in there. I'm just like, I don't care. I'm waiting for the intro because the intro of the X Men, which is classic intro, they show all the characters and they've got their their names and the logos. Yeah, and the I comics. remember. I remember. And I'm just waiting for them to have like Wolverine, he slash him. Yeah, they, they <laughs> Julie, would. Julie, she slash her. I'm just, I'm just. They're gonna know you're gonna change it. Like they're gonna have characters that were never like a certain way suddenly be a certain way. Oh, that's all comics now. I guarantee you they're going to change these characters. Uh, it's fundamentally going to be broken. It's not going to make fans of the original show happy. Well, they're saying that. It's made for the, the Disney Plus audience. What you have left, because your, yeah. your, your stocks are going off a cliff. You keep, you, you, you keep doubling down on shit that, you, that is actually detrimental to your company. Um, and then you're like, well, we don't, everybody else are bigots. We don't know what's happening. And then you're gonna, you, they're going to go ruin this now. Yeah, I mean, the best way to, to look at it, and that's what I talked about the other day. <laughs> the other day I talked about it with, uh, you know, whether it's it's comics or Star Wars or whatever, is just be like, you know, Disney's Star Wars, Disney's Marvel, Disney's Marvel Comics is about the same canon as Disney's Doug. It's like you can take it or leave it. It's not, it's never going to be the same thing it was before Disney bought it. 
I mean, you know, it's and and there's no going back to this. Uh, it doesn't matter how many people from the original are involved in it. Disney, we know, has mandates. Uh, they're going to go current year woke with it, and get, you know, but that's okay. They're going to slap the old costumes on it, and that'll make it appealing to everyone because they fundamentally don't understand it. No. No, and it, it's just it's it's going to be a reanimated corpse, and just like everything else. Kicker is they had characters that were diverse. They've had them in X Men for years, especially X Men is like one of the shining examples of diversity and inclusion oh, yeah. in a book. Yeah. And it was I mean, the most popular. It's been, comic. yeah, it's been, and you're just gonna take it, and then you're just gonna find a way to ruin all that, and then say you invented it, and say everybody else are instaphobic tool, tool bags. When you guys are going to ruin, it's it's already diverse and inclusive. Like there's nothing there that you can do. To make it more modern day, except shove a bunch of shit into it that no one wants. And they're going to do that. That's that's Disney now. It's current year Disney. So good luck with that. Um, I was excited. I'm not excited. I don't think there's anything really to get excited about because they're not going to be allowed to just tell good stories. And also the media out on everybody. It's because yeah. of the istaphobe. All the bigots that you'd think they would have learned from X-Men. If they were paying attention to X-Men, they would totally... They were real fans. They were real fans. They'd they know Iceman was gay. They would know Iceman was gay. They would know that, you know, Cyclops and Wolverine have been having a three-way with Gene for years. You just didn't know that. It was They're all bi. camera. You should know. You should know that. If you were actually paying attention, you bigot. Yeah. Everything that we've changed in the last few years for yeah. stupid agenda sake. I'm, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Fuck off. I don't care. Good I'm luck with that. I'm sorry for saying f words my times, but I'm just so over this shit. I think a lot of people are over it. And it's going to do poorly. And then they're going to... Yeah, then they'll be like, oh, well, I guess they don't want... We tried giving them old-school X-Men with a bunch of changes. you got a bunch of people running it who are super politically bent one way and certainly yeah. political... You know, they're really politically charged. And then people don't want that because they're sick of it. Yeah. If everybody else is, is... You're too political in the wrong way. It's like, no, I think you're just being too political in general. Yeah. So, kiss my ass. I don't care. Wrap it up because I'm done. All right, guys. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. So run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle to Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>